Hey. All right. You guys ask questions all the time in the comment section and you ask about like this and that and what's going on with the Airstream and what's going on with the cider? Why did you call it cider when it's really just apple juice? And so many different things that we thought we'd do a video and just answer all your questions and we're going to share with you some very big news that I'm very excited about. Huge announcement. So follow along. We're going to answer all your questions. We're going to give you updates on a bunch of things. This video is going to be very exciting so don't stop watching because you'll miss the big announcement and let's go. It seems like every time I take a week off from doing the Airstream, you guys leave a zillion comments and you're like, oh, you tired of the Airstream? You sick of the Airstream already? Well, no, it just takes a long time to work on the stinking Airstream. And I know because there's not going to be a video on it for a while that you guys are going to be wondering what's going on. So follow me. I'm going to show you where we're at with the Airstream and explain why there's not going to be a video for quite a long time. So come outside with me. Walk over here. All right, come on inside. So the Airstream is pretty much how we left off in the last video. We've got the kitchen counter all done. We got the fridge cabinets. We got our table set in place here. We got our wraparound bench. We got our wall back here with our bedroom going on. The things we have left to do are the bathroom, meaning we got the bathroom counters. We got to install the toilet. We got to build a wall here and we have to do the floor. But I'm going to halt the Airstream videos because there are some things that have to be done that I'm not capable of doing so we're gonna have to take it back over to Bend to the company Mountain Modern that refurbished the whole shell on the outside and rebuilt the trailer before we started doing the inside. The things that we're gonna have them do is they're gonna do the plumbing, they're gonna do the black tank vent up through the ceiling and all that. They're gonna do some electrical hooks up, hookups for the fridge. They're gonna cap off a propane line that used to be in there. Originally, we were going to convert this section right here into a cabinet, but I'll show you, you scoot in here. There's gonna be cushions here that are six inches taller and I'm already hitting this with my head. So I decided let's just get rid of this. So they're gonna cut this out. They're gonna patch this whole front cone area. So this will just be nice and clean. They're gonna hook up our light fixtures for us. Just a bunch of busy work that I don't really have time to do. And some of it I'm not comfortable in doing. So in the next week or so, we're taking this two and a half hours away. We're gonna drop it off with them. And I'm not sure when we're gonna get it back. Could be a couple weeks, could be a couple months. So you're not gonna see an Airstream video for quite a while. So. If you're gonna leave comments down there, don't have them be, where's the Airstream? Because I just told you. So that's the Airstream update. Let's move on. All right, I put out a video two weeks ago where I built that apple cider press and I pressed 25 gallons of apple juice and holy cow, were there a zillion comments in the comment section because in the voiceover, I said apple cider and everyone's like, it's not cider if it's not alcoholic, it's juice. Well, what do you think? I don't know that. Come here, I'm going to show you something. All right. I didn't show this in the video because I didn't want to get into a whole other thing, but this is our old washout room for our printing business, but I'm using it as cider, cider central right now. Here are the 25 gallons of previously apple juice. Now yeast has already been added, these have been fermenting, and they're almost ready to take out of these jugs, add a little sugar to, and keg them. But I did make cider. So we're gonna have a big old party here in a month or so. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is gonna be delicious homemade apple cider. This is my scrap wood pile. Just thought you, you might want an update on what it looks like. Hola, tengo el gato en los pantalones. Mi lechuga es muy suave. Tu madre es mucho grande. I don't really know what I said because I don't speak Spanish, but I've got a very big announcement. We've been working with an awesome company that is converting all of our bourbon moth videos, every single one we've ever made and every single one we're ever going to make into perfect, crisp, understandable Spanish. 
It's gonna be under the title Bourbon Moth in Espanol on YouTube. And if you speak Spanish and that's your first language versus English, well, this is good news for you because maybe you don't understand what I'm saying right now. But you go over to Bourbon Moth in Espanol and you will understand because it's gonna be like, oh, burrito, crema, tomatoes, things like that. So that's big news. Go subscribe. Check it out. Y por acá, una tirolesa para salir de esta torre e ir. Justo así. ¿Sí? I forgot to tell you that there's actually no videos up there yet. It launches the first week in November. So it'll launch right after this video comes out. So you can go subscribe, but you won't be able to actually watch any videos until first week of November. So subscribe early and watch. Adios, vaya con Dios. All right, about five minutes ago, we mixed two parts of Total Boat flotation foam together in this one jug and I shook it up and I screwed the lid on and we threw it out here. Now this stuff expands pretty good and it makes this foam. So I don't know if this is gonna explode or when it's gonna explode, but we're giving you one update now and we'll give you another update in a little bit. Very excited about an upcoming project. We're building another boat. We've already done two boats before. We did the 16 foot drift boat. We did the little cocktail racer, me and Michael Alm. And I love building boats so much, I just couldn't help myself. So I started building one. The first build video will come out a week from this Saturday. So a week from whenever you're watching this video, unless you're watching this video like a year from now, then the video is already out and you can go back. It's like you're going back in time and you can find it and it's already there. I'm getting way off subject. My point is very excited about this build because boats are cool. Oh, and did I mention that this isn't an ordinary boat? We're actually building this out of a cattle stock tank. One of my absolute favorite things about YouTube is our Patreon. And yes, this is gonna be a little bit of a shameless plug, but if you are not signed up for Patreon, I'm serious, you are missing out. The cool thing about Patreon is we develop this really tight-knit community of makers. We're constantly in contact with each other. Every week we do a YouTube live, questions and answers, people are on there, we're just having a good time, good conversation. On top of that, you get discounts on plans and merchandise from the website. But my favorite thing about Patreon is our patron builds. We started doing this last year. Basically twice a year we run a contest, you put your name in the hat and we draw a name two times a year and we go out to one of our patrons shops. We build a project together. like this time in England. And it was time to start working on our side rails, which meant we had to go back down through the garden, uh, across the road, through his back door, through his laundry room, through his kitchen, and into the living room to get more wood. Or this other time when we went out to Massachusetts. It's so much fun to get to meet you guys in person. And because I like hanging out with our patrons so much, starting this year, we created another opportunity for us to hang out, which is our Patreon Summit. Any tier level of our patrons are invited to this Patreon Summit. We're doing it in Nashville this year, and we just get together and hang out for a weekend. We eat good food, we have good conversation, and it's just a time for a community to get together off YouTube and have a great time. So if you're not signed up for Patreon, check the link in the video description, sign up. We would love for you to be a part of that community. A week ago this Saturday, my son's fish died. We only had it for two weeks. It didn't live very long. Remember when I built this whole office space for that TV show for Magnolia Network and we did a pilot episode, which is still available on Discovery Plus. It's called Hibs Shows You How. Well, I'm getting a ton of questions about whatever happened to the TV show. Are we making more episodes? Is it coming out sometime soon? To be completely honest, I have absolutely no clue. It was kind of a messy situation. You see, right when we released the pilot, well, Magnolia got bought by a little network called HBO, which also owns Discovery. And when HBO bought Magnolia and Discovery, well, they laid off a bunch of people and they pressed pause on a bunch of stuff, so our show got caught up in that whole mix. So I don't know what's happening. I don't think it's moving forward. I think it just got shelved and that's probably the end of that. We're still in contact with the production company and they're still talking about other show options. But as far as I know, it's dead in the water, which is fine by me because it means I have more time to keep making cool videos for you. And I like you a lot better than those network stiffs. 
So keep watching, Seattle. I don't know why I said Seattle. You guys are from all over the place. Seattle just seemed like a Frasier Crane-esque, you know, like radio personality, something he would say. Anyways. Hey, everybody. This video is sponsored by Henson Shaving. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, Jason, you don't shave. You got a full beard. Well, guess what? I do shave. Just a second. Let me show you. Sorry, that got a little out of hand and I got a little too close. What I'm trying to say is I have to shave my cheeks or else I'd get a full beard up here and I gotta shave my neck down here or else I'd be like whoosh. Henson Shaving makes an awesome razor. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna tell you about it right now. Bum, 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 is the Henson bum, bum, AL13, bum, bum, aluminum razor. I was doing all that with my mouth. That wasn't even background music. Now, if you think this is just a normal razor, you're wrong. This razor was made using a CNC to aerospace standards. The reason this razor works so much better than other razors on the market is because the blade has perfect support across the entire surface of the blade. Most razors, the blade's not very well supported, which means the blade can curve or vibrate, and that's the number one cause of skin irritation. And your neck starts to kind of look like a pepperoni pizza. Because this was built to aerospace standards, it means that the blade only extends out past the shaving plane about 0.0013 inches. If you don't know anything about inches, that's not very far. That's like the thickness of a human hair. Now this isn't a flimsy plastic razor. This thing is top notch aluminum, as they say across the pond, which means it's gonna last for years and years. So all you have to pay for is the blades. And the blades are like 10 cents a piece, which means you're gonna spend three to $5 max a year on shaving. And if three to $5 a year seems a little steep for your pocketbook, well, don't worry. If you use the coupon code Bourbon Moth, you will get 100 blades for free. That's the equivalent of three to four years of free shaving. So check the link in the description or right here and go get yourself one of these. It's gonna be my new go-to for shaving my beard off. I'm just joking, I'm not gonna shave my beard off. But my cheeks and neck look pretty fantastic. I can do better. Forgot how to play this song. I'm pretending to woodwork. Hey, guess what? Yeah! New merchandise on the website. We got new hats, we got new shirts, and actually, we've been working with an awesome plan creator. They've gone back through all of our old videos and we've been putting plans up on the website like crazy. So if there was projects you saw in the past and you're like, it would have been really nice to have plans for those, they're probably up on the website now. We got a huge plan library, so go check it out. Get yourself a shirt, get yourself a hat, and buy some underwear. Not from our website, because we don't sell underwear. I'm just suggesting that in your day-to-day -day life, it's probably a good idea to buy some underwear. You can never have too much, you know, laundry. Well, I've successfully drank through all of the alcohol that used to be stored on the shelf. The only thing left is this one bottle of smoked salmon flavored vodka. I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. Oh, that hurts. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, hey, welcome to my shop. I know that that doesn't have the same effect because we've already been in here filming this for the whole video, but we wanted to do that like entering for dramatic effect. So welcome to my shop. Are you ready for the giant announcement? So, if you don't know the history of the shop, I started doing woodworking about nine years ago. All right, we're gonna stop now because somebody randomly is here and I don't know who it is. It's the tax assessor for Lynn County. My property taxes are going up. Ugh. Taxes are a violation of our rights. I'm just joking, I don't. I, that was Ron Swanson said that. Don't get all political on me. I don't know if you know the history of the shop. I did a little shop tour a few years ago, but I'm gonna run you through it real quick just so you know where we're at. Now, when I first started woodworking about eight or nine years ago, my shop was just this little one car garage here. There was actually a wall that went right here. 
And so this is all the space I had to work with. So what you see over here was completely original to when I first set up the shop. Like all this miter station stuff. I mean, I didn't even have this saw when I built it and when I got this saw it wouldn't turn so I had to cut out a hole right there. So, you know, and then it rubs and it moves the entire saw. It's not the best setup. On the other side of the wall was actually my wife's business. It's a business that we started together where we did custom screen printing and illustrations. So the wall was here, my wife's studio was over here. Now eventually my business started to grow and I needed a little bit more room. So I said, babe, can I please have a little bit of your studio space? So we ended up moving the wall from here over to here. And I had a little bit more room. You know, it felt pretty nice and big and then you know, I thought maybe I could buy some more tools and I needed a few more things and I said, hey babe, could I have a little bit more space? The problem is she didn't have a lot of space to give. So what we ended up doing was building an addition onto this shop that goes that way on the other side of the wall. That became her studio and I took over this entire space here, which is the shop that I now have. And she was running business out of the addition. Now my wife decided at the beginning of this last year that she was gonna retire. I know, must be nice, she's in her 30s. But she wants to be a mom, which I applaud her for. No, I didn't ask her to retire so I could take her space. She made the decision on her own, which means she doesn't need her addition any longer. So we just have this space, come here, I'm gonna show you, over here that's just sitting. Now it's weird, because when we built the addition, we didn't really make a doorway, so you have to go through the bathroom, which is kind of strange. But then, you come into this space, look, how much room we have over here. It's like ripping up your carpet and finding hardwood floors. I mean, the possibilities are just endless. Now, you're already in here because in this little washout room is where we have the cider. But next spring, we are going to completely clean everything out of this shop. We're gonna get rid of all the printing stuff. We're gonna tear down the wall between my shop and this space, and we are gonna make mega shop. And when I say we're gonna clean it out, I mean we're gonna take all the tools out, we're gonna take all the dust extraction tubing out, we're gonna redo the ceiling, we're gonna patch the drywall, we're gonna rerun electrical, we're gonna redo the floor, and we're gonna start from the ground up building the shop, which means we're gonna do new miter stations, new work tables, and we're gonna bring you along for the entire thing. It's gonna be so much fun. We're just gonna have shop project after shop project, and we're gonna create mega shop. Now, I know you might be wondering, well, what are you gonna do when your shop's all ripped apart? How are you still gonna put out videos? You're gonna have no place to work. Well, don't worry, we got a plan. Let me show you right now. Welcome to my garage. Okay, come on in. I know you were probably expecting to see a really cool shop setup that we could work in while that's being torn apart, but no, it's just my garage. Recognize that thing? Remember when we built that? That was cool. Um, so the plan is this. We're going to tear apart that shop. We're gonna completely clean out this garage, get rid of everything in here, because I wanna do this thing anyways. It needs some work. We're gonna set up a temporary small shop in this garage which is also gonna be cool because a lot of you guys are working out of one car, two car garages, so it'll give us a chance to show you how we would set up a small garage shop. We're gonna make this thing fully functional, we're gonna get our dust collection, probably not our big dust collection, but some sort of dust collection in here. We're gonna set up a temporary table saw, chop saw, all that stuff in here. So we will have the ability to keep working, keep doing videos, so we can do project videos, we can go back to the shop, back and forth, and it'll give us a chance to keep putting out videos for you while that shop is being redone. So that's the plan. We're redoing the shop next spring, it's gonna be great, and we're gonna start putting some more things in that shop, things that we couldn't put in there before. I kinda wanna learn how to do metalworking. I've never done that before, but how hard can it be? You just metal, right? But anyways, you can come along for that whole process. Watch me fail, watch me try. Let's build a shop together. Okay, get out of here. Just triggered the sensor. Wife's gonna be mad I'm letting all the heat out. Okay, let's go. 
All right, it's been about 20 minutes. This thing's puffed up pretty good, but it hasn't exploded. So there's only one logical thing to do. Shoot it with a bow and arrow. That was very anticlimactic. Disappointed. Well, there you have it. Our end of year report, if you will. Hopefully that answers all the questions that you've been asking down in the comment section. And if you have any more questions, we'll keep asking them and maybe we'll do another one of these in the future. But for now, stay tuned for upcoming videos. I'm so excited about that shop build. It's going to be awesome. It's been an incredible year. We had a million subscribers this year. Thanks to all of you. Thank you for your support. Keep watching. Next week, we got a boat build coming at you. Video one, because, well, the boats kind of take a long time. And we got some other really cool projects to finish out the year. But for now, that's it. I never know how to get off camera. Just... <sighs> Christmas.